IoT, Robotics, 5G, AI. Through many kinds of revolutionary technology, the world is changing at an unprecedented speed. However, no matter how much society changes, what continues to support cutting-edge technology is the spirit of industry. Nagoya is located near the center of Japan and is known as an industrial hub for its automobile, aerospace, machine tool, electronic component, and new materials manufacturing facilities. The biggest reason that Nagoya has become such a hub is the passion for industry that has had roots in the region since long ago. Since ancient times, Nagoya was home to many industries, including cotton, firearms, ceramics, and lumber, using materials transported through its extensive canal system. These would later contribute to the development of textile manufacturing, clock production, sanitary ceramics, and architectural technologies. These techniques continue to advance today, in turn contributing to the railway, aerospace, and automotive industry's great strides. Nagoya is now renowned as a global industrial powerhouse, with the automotive industry and many other manufacturing industries clustered within a 100-kilometer radius. Even within the GDP ranking of world nations, it ranks at 20th globally, on par in GDP with Poland and Switzerland, and accounting for an entire percent of the world's total GDP. Transportation. Machinery and Robotics Ceramics Materials Electronics. As you can see, many of the world's leading companies are based here. Nagoya is centrally located, and the Maglev Shinkansen, due to begin operation in 2027, will make it possible to travel between Nagoya and Tokyo in just 40 minutes. Nagoya is home to many outstanding universities and research institutes, drawing experts in their fields from all over the world. Dr. Jacob Lambert, who earned his PhD at Nagoya University, is just one of the researchers who has come to call Nagoya home. Yeah, Centra is, is super convenient. There's many direct flights to international cities, and then uh, once you get here, it's really easy to get to downtown Nagoya. So there's a direct train line, and also you can take uh, the highway to go back. It's really convenient. Nagoya is the birthplace of the Toyota company, and uh, they have an amazing museum that you can come by and see if you're interested at all in uh, old cars and machinery and even future cars. Uh, I really recommend coming here, it's a, an amazing place. You can see a lot of their history um, and a lot of amazing uh, machinery. Yeah, I really like this uh, abura soba. It's kind of like ramen but without soup, so it's perfect for summer. It's not too hot. Delicious. Mm, Welcome to Nagoya University. Let's take a look around. This is the NIC, the National Innovation Complex. The NIC is kind of a hub where academic researchers meet uh, industry leaders, so st both startup companies who develop emerging technologies and industry leaders who have like, the know-how to push these technologies into society and uh, create a better future. 
So in Nagoya University, there's quite a few multidisciplinary labs like this one. So my research in autonomous driving perception is made possible by all the different uh, people who work here. So from the um, vehicle engineers to electrical engineers who work here, uh, the computer vision and machine learning scientists who all uh, come together in these kind of labs to put together these great big research projects uh, where emerging technology comes from. So this place is also good for interfacing between academia and industry. So we're lucky to have support from many companies who give us both equipment but also knowledge um, on how to best introduce it, these technologies into society and that really pushes our research into the right direction so we can, that we can have a good impact. We hope to see you in Nagoya someday soon.